today I'll be showing you how I made my standing spiderweb collar for my book look on the Everlasting Rose, the second book to the Bell series by Daniel Clayton! Disclaimer! So I drew a concept of this collar without having the slightest idea of how to actually make this collar prior, and based this purely off of Pinterest pictures with very little instructions of how to actually make one. This is by no means the proper way to make a standing collar, I just wanted to share and show you all how I managed to make this one for the Everlasting Rose with whatever materials I had on hand. Anyways, the first thing I messed around with to make this collar was some craft wire, and I believe the one that I used was 16 gauge craft wire which I got from my local craft store. But I'm starting by shaping and forming the rough size and height of the collar, and cross-checking how it sits on my shoulders as I go. Since Camille's collar on the cover is curved almost like flower petals, I wanted to try and reference it and started by bending and curving my collar into the same petal shape as the cover. For extra support, I'm using black zip ties, tying them off at the neck base, and I'm looping and taping the tips of them down in place along the bends of each of the flower petals. Again, after each time, I'm just making sure to cross-check everything to see how it'll sit on me afterward. Next, I'm loosely tracing the wire shape onto some black construction paper. I didn't have any construction paper big enough to fit the entire collar, so I traced each half onto their own sheet of paper. Once that's done, I'm just cutting each side out with an X-Acto knife, and I'm forming a ruffle, wave-like shape behind the wire collar, and I'm gluing all the parts that touch the wire frame with a little bit of hot glue. I was lucky enough to meet Daniel Clayton and get my copy of The Everlasting Rose signed by her, and in my copy she wrote, Weave a wonderful web, which I took quite literally and it has served as the main inspiration behind this whole book look. If you've read the book, you'll get the reference. If you haven't, then I highly recommend reading the series. Trust me, it's great, go check it out. But to make my webs, I'm tracing out a template onto a sheet of non-stick baking paper, and I'm tracing three different kinds of webs just so I have some variety in shape and design for the collar. Once all the designs are sketched out, I'm using hot glue again to go over the web designs. I was first toying with the idea of making webs out of wire, but discovered, while researching DIY Halloween decorations, that hot glue was easier to work with, and it gave me much more freedom to create my own shapes and styles. After those spiderwebs are nice and cool, it's time to paint them, and to do this I'm using some gold metallic spray paint which I got from my local craft store. While those webs dry, I'm moving on to my collar, and I want to try and match it as best as I can to the one that Camille wears on the book cover, so I'm using some indigo colored spray paint as a base color for the collar. Once that's dried a little bit, I'm gonna go over all of that with some purple glitter shimmer spray paint. Once everything is nice and dry, I'm taking my golden webs and arranging them along the front two panels. I'm leaving the back two panels open seeing as they'll most likely get blocked by the wig when the final look is all put together, and I'm just hot gluing down the very center of each web and any part of the webs that touch the wireframe or the paper portion of the collar. After I looped some gold craft yarn that I had on hand through the wireframe and around my chest and around my back to help the collar stick up straight and stay stable. But once of all of that is put together, we're done! And the collar is ready to wear! Yay! If you haven't yet, be sure to check out part one of this Everlasting Rose book looks behind the scene where I show how I styled my wig for this look. If you'd like to see the full book look for the Everlasting Rose, be sure to check out Epic Reads hashtag book looks playlist which I'll have linked down below. I wanted to give an enormous thank you again to HarperCollins Publishers for commissioning me for this book look, and an even bigger thank you to you all for watching! Let me know which book looks you'd like to see me do next, and I'll see you all next time! Bye!